Hi, welcome to Analyze This. My name is Honey Ogundei, and with me is my delectable co-host, Tunji Andrews. And today we're going to be talking about tax and taxation in Nigeria. We're going to be breaking it all the way down from why you should pay tax, who you should pay to, and when you should pay. So Tunji, are you a taxpayer? Yeah, we're all taxpayers. We, who um, are we? Everybody. I mean, everybody. It, it, it generally graduates from the levels of compliance. I think that's the major issue. Um, at least if you buy some, you go to a restaurant, you pay VAT, that's some low level of tax pay payment. Then there's the um, income tax. Um, if you own a business, there's the company income tax also. So it's about the level of compliance. Everybody pays on some. So I way. asked you, I said, are you, you have not no, made I said, it about yes. the general I said, population, I said, yes, trying I do. to just dodge your own and cover nah, it with the nah, whole. Nah. We all pay well, taxes. We all we, pay we all, taxes. I pay tax. I enjoy paying tax. Such a beautiful thing to pay <laughs> taxes. I don't like, believe that. Skip all the way to pay taxes. No, but seriously, like tax in Nigeria can be like one of, it's, it's one of those things that you know you have to do, but sometimes it's just, it can be difficult to understand what exactly you're supposed to be paying it and who you're supposed to be paying it to. Yeah, I mean, even the why you should be paying it is another point because... Um, I, do you feel like you should be paying tax? I know like you have your whole legal answer all signed up. It's, it's okay. If any person is watching, he gets well, okay. it. But like, I'll, I'll explain it this way, right? Um, I was speaking to my manager and um, he big said... Big boys that have managers. I need one too. Moving on. So, and, and I was talking to my manager and he, he said... Um, some tax consultants, obviously, I don't know if it's uh, federal or low, uh, um, state tax uh, authorities, were speaking to them about, because he also manages um, um, entertainment artists, and we're speaking to them about how to structure taxes for entertainers, right? And he was, I mean, the response was, why? Why would they want to take taxes? They've not helped us. They've not really, you know, put any structure in place. But, you know, on the, you kind of look at it, uh, yes, I, I get where you're coming from, but it's the law. Right. So wait, I don't get it. Just because they sing a couple of lines of wow, woo, woo, they think that me that I go to my <laughs> office, sleeping all day, pay a lot of people, but they think that I should pay more tax than they, they do. They created the entire. Industry. I created my own office and my company. Like we, if I have to pay tax, they have to pay tax. We're all going down together. Well, it is the law, right? It is the law, and we we have a tax ex expert with us who will be telling us, um, you know, what when you should pay it, how you should pay it, uh, who is eligible to pay. Because some of you just believe that since you are not, um, <laughs> you've not been working for the last five years, you shouldn't even, you know, think about taxes or, or No, I mean, I think, like I think that there is that thing where people feel like you don't actually get, you know, what are you getting back from the government? If you are... Bang for your buck, Yeah, right? exactly. If you're, you're powering your own generator, so your, your own electricity board, if you're paving your own road as you do... <laughs> so Which is, is the thing that happens um, in my estate. You so have if to you're pay providing security. your own security, my estate is like we have two security points. Um, if we're doing all of that, I'm looking after my recycling in some cases. And if I happen to lose my job or I fall sick, it's not like there's some kind of national health system where I can roll up at the hospital and all that taxi that I've been paying works for me, right? So like when you go to Europe, you see very well the tax system working because the day that it, you know, rain falls, you can still go out and do your normal business. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The day that you're sick, the government is going to, you know, pick up the stack for you. If you lose your job, you have the right to stay at home and you you'll get taken care of by the government. So you see very clearly like your taxes are working for you. Yeah, yeah basically you know, like, your in own. Sweden, yeah. I lived in Sweden, if you get pregnant, you get to take like almost over a year off in paid maternity. And that's supplemented wow. both by the government and by your employer. So when you live and you've lived in those kind of places where you've seen the beauty of tax, of a tax system, which any tax, paying tax should not be this painful, horrible thing where we all run over and hide and we're all scrimping and saving if it's providing you clear benefits as i saw in that place 18 months leave like from having a baby yeah of course we'll all be running off to pay the tax like of it's course, not like we're not irrational I, I think i think we will get there but the fear, we will is, get still, there, but the fear like, is still that we're you're on your own you know there, there, yeah, was, the, there was the rainfall that happened in lekki not too long ago and when i saw my area flooding I, I, I quickly just moved my family out because, you know, like what you saw happening in the I think US. we just have to make an announcement here that you're a lucky big boy and, you know, you had to just, you know. No. You just, you know, the flood came and like Noah. Right? No, 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 no. I, I, I had to move them out because I kind of thought No, but it myself, was crazy, yeah. Kind of what ha is happening in the U.S. where you see that these Coast, uh, Coast Guard, they're going to save people. I was like, ha. Ah, 
if the water reaches a level sure, we are right. on our own in this house, we better move out now before. But then in those cases, how did we see our tax money working for us? We did not. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, we also have with us on the set um, someone from Deloitte. Uh, he's the lead tax partner at Deloitte, uh, Yomi Olubero. Welcome to the show. Thank you so very much for having me. Um, so let's start with the fact that um, who is eligible to pay taxes in, in Nigeria? In layman speak, who should yeah, pay taxes? Yeah, who should pay taxes? Well, tax is to be paid by everybody that is earning income. Okay. So it covers everybody, those in paid employment, those running private businesses, and just about everybody that have a source of like What if I just finish NYSE? If you know any income, no. Okay. But for as long as you start earning income, you're eligible oh, okay. to pay What taxes. if I'm earning five naira? It doesn't matter how much you're earning because it's relative. So you pay a fraction of whatever wow. your income is. Wow. Wow. So if you're not paying taxes, you have to pay. Anyway. <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway, so um, speaking about... Because, I mean, it's, it's a bit complex when you try to do your tax assessment. Although I know that um, I think LIRS now has some self-assessment on their website. But how do I know how much I'm supposed to pay? You know, if I want to assess myself. He's asking myself. for himself. Yeah, I no, know I know how much I, I, I have to pay. And, how and much, how much you basically, pay? you have to also understand the tax, the tax deductions because like, uh, like there is there's tax avoidance and tax evasion. One is illegal, one is legal. <laughs> you, know <Yes>. enough. <laughs> you know enough to be the guest on this show. Let's <laughs> yes. just, you know. Well, well, if you if you you have to prepare yourself for this thing. So tax um, evasion is when you are not paying, yep. right? And that is illegal. That is not right. Yep. Yeah, that is not right. And tax evasion, tax um, avoidance. Ta avoidance. Sorry, is when you um, increase your payments to things like pension. Um, am I? No, effectively, when you just look for opportunities within the tax law, laws to be to able to plan your tax your... to reduce but, the amount. Yeah, but I think what is happening: a lot of people are either tax avoiding or tax evading. Sometimes not because they want to, not because they're bad people. It's just because they don't necessarily have the information that they need to be able to pay the tax. Do you have right? the information? So, if you're a small <laughs> and medium-sized business, um, sometimes you can feel like there's lots of people that are just trying to actually exploit your under knowledge or the fact that you don't know like so in my case we had like the local government like pull through and just be like oh we need to pay t uh, tax for tv radio premises some other thing i call it like walking on the road tax like sometimes i just angry and they just walk on the road and they're like which businesses can we tax today and it can feel like there's not that information for you to be able to adequately assess in which case is this accurate information or in this case shall i just tell them to gently continue walking <laughs> right. I mean, I agree absolutely with you that the level of awareness yes. within the uh, populace is low. Mm -hmm. But as you know, Nigeria is a federal structure. Yes. So there are taxes payable to the federal tax authority. Yes. There are taxes payable to the state. And also there are taxes or if you like levies that are collectible at the local government level. Yeah. So it's, it's important that every taxpayer is aware of what obligation is got within the law so that instances of being cheated or being ripped off uh, can be minimized. Can we just have one single entity that, you know, collects, even if, if their tax is 100 naira, they now shares it within the... Because I think it is, for businesses, right, what is the, the complex is the separating the yeah. federal taxes. I think I just came up with a good tech solution, actually, for that. And someone needs to just create, like, an app or a website where you can just go and you can put in, like, basic minimum information and it can collect all that information for you in a place you can analyze. Yeah, I think and, that, and take your... And, you know, help you separate your taxes. Yeah, just as help you, you make it. an assessment because I think that that information is just lacking so i think it's not sometimes that people are evading tax i mean there are clearly people who are evading like your musician friends but there are people they who, are not my friends who necessarily want to be paying but don't necessarily <laughs> have the information to pay you know I you're also criminal friends. you're also a rapper sometimes so you you understand where they're coming from so I, I i was thinking about um i mean you deal with um corporates you deal with individuals also to help them sort out their taxes and That's and cool. my thoughts are how ready as in how What's the level of eagerness for when people come to you that, uh, is it, hey, I want to come and pay my tax, or hey, I, I have to pay my tax. Is come anybody excited to pay tax? Exactly. Maybe we will get there some days. Um, I'm not aware of anywhere <laughs> in the world where people we, um, joyfully pay tax. All right? So you pay as a matter of obligation. Mm -hmm. You pay because you know there are penalties for non-compliance. 
You wow. pay because you can see the impact of your contribution to the development of the society. What are the impacts of non-compliance? What happens to me if I don't pay? In a normal world, where there are penalties for violations of rules. So if you pay, fail to pay your tax, there are interest and penalties that is applicable in terms of Which happens terms. in Lagos. Correct. And <laughs> should ideally happen in all of the 36 states because there is just one single income tax law that is applicable oh. to all of the federation. So it's actually better for you to live outside of Lagos. <laughs> Maybe before. <laughs> Perhaps I can't guarantee that going forward because everybody's awake to I'm their just responsibilities. Move to <laughs> Well, but yes, I, I think I get that. But also, Lagos still has one of the best infrastructure and at least no, of course, like the, the biggest best business economy. economy. Well. So, yeah, you pay so, to pay yeah. tax, so we should clap for Lagos. Yeah, yeah, I love paying tax, as I said before. This is one of my favorite. <laughs> you say you haven't met the joyous person. I am the joyous person. I go there like with my Ashoki. I'm like, woo, like, let's pay some taxes. But, but 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 okay. So but my 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 bigger question is like H and I's and corporates have. Companies like you, they have Deloitte to help them figure it out to make sure that they're complying and to make sure that they're paying on time. But what happens to individuals like myself or individuals like small businesses who don't have, you know, the ability to be able to pay for your services at this time? <laughs> um, should they? Should people be going out and looking for tax consultants to help them, or how should you try to navigate the system? Because frankly, bear in mind that sometimes you just don't. You know, you're a rush for time. You're, you know, you're trying to just survive. You're trying to stay on the good side of the law, but you don't have this information. What should you be doing? Is it your responsibility to be seeking out the information? Do you advise people to get help? All right. So I think one of the critical things that the government needs to do is to actually pay attention to the point you've raised now. The, I agree. The, the ease of paying taxes, how easy it is to comply. So even when the willingness is, is there. there. Yeah. So how, how easily can I, can, I, can I get this obligation uh, resolved? And I'm, I'll give you a, an analysis from the report done by the World Bank on the ease of paying taxes. Mm -hmm. In a survey of about 190 countries, Nigeria is ranked 182 in terms of how difficult it is. So we wow. sit in the bottom nine yeah. of how difficult it is. And why it is so? We spend, according to that survey, close to over 900 hours annually like a corporate, to pay close to 60 different taxes in a year. Compare that to South Africa. South Africa pay, as against our 59, seven taxes, and it's against our 907 hours, just about two or three hours annually, and they are ranked 51. Ghana is ranked 125, Kenya is ranked 122, Nigeria is ranked So how many different taxes do you say we have? In a year, a corporate will probably pay close to about 59, if you compare, if, if you, if, if you um, consider the fact that you pay personal income taxes every month, that's 12. Withholding taxes every month, that's another 12. VAT returns every month, that's another 12. Different company income taxes, education taxes, all of this just add up to the amount of hours you invest in yeah. compliance. And I think that, you know, for a small business, this is one of the things that just makes it difficult to frankly just do yeah, business in Nigeria. You, you just kind of I feel, feel like it's already, yeah, it's already kind of difficult to earn pressure. revenue in Nigeria. Just being then you have to, business you have to also like, track you then, know how many taxes you've not paid who you are paying to so i i, I do know that um i mean there's a lot that's been going into the tax laws and there's been there's been a lot of work consultants have been in, invited but i'm just hoping that you know they, they can speed up the process so that more people who want to pay tax can pay tax yeah and i think beyond just hoping as we nigerians normally do i think that we need to find ways and forums in which we can actually get our voices, voices together and to, actually yeah, yeah. become a voice in, in participating in the future sort of um, structures of how the taxation system in the country works, right? The system should work for us. So not only in the kind of output that we get when we pay tax, what we should be getting back from the government, we as well need to be on the government to say, okay, here you've received this money. Apart from erecting a big billboard to tell me your taxes are working, I should feel like the taxes are working because the more that I feel like the taxes are working, the more that I want to pay. And I think too, like having 59 different taxes that we pay in a year, as a, that's for large corporates, but it can also affect small businesses. It's hard as well. So can I think you, we need feel, structuring on both sides. No, no, I know this only too well. Yeah, I know sorry, I've sorry, seen sorry. it only too well. I, so I I'm, it's a topic I'm very passionate about. Uh, so I was going to ask, um, for the people who are paying, what are the benefits? I think the benefit is in seeing the society uh, develop, the, the level of infrastructure that still needed to be built, the amount of resources that the government required to defray the cost of governance is just so enormous. 
and gone are the days of you know, free oil money. This is the time that um, the government needs the tax revenue much more than ever before. So I think the joy is in seeing the society working and seeing that you making your own contribution to the cost of nation building. But I think many people argue that they're not seeing any joy. <laughs> I mean, it's just it's, not happy. <laughs> so, 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 so maybe it's a chicken and an egg thing. So, which yeah, comes first? Which so, comes first? So, is yeah. it transparency and accountability, which is critical, or is it making sure that you fulfill your own obligations so that you can have a voice? Maybe we can just come together, you know. Yeah, but well, I, I think that we've seen good strides in that. So, for example, in my industry, e-commerce and entertainment, I know we've recently been granted a tax break by the government. What does that mean? And how does that typically work? All right. So, recently, government just revised the list of companies and businesses that is eligible for tax potential five-year tax holiday. So okay. it means for those five years, you won't be eligible to e pay was there. personal income tax. So e-commerce, entertainment, from TV to the movie to photography uh, to television, just everything within that sector. It's also part of the And so what uh, happens services. for those companies? What should they be doing? So if you heard your name called out in the roster. <laughs> if you heard your name. If you heard your name had. in the roster, <laughs> what should you do next? So 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 there is a process yeah. uh, to be followed. It's not automatic. Okay. So you need to show that you qualify for that, uh, for that incentive. One of the prerequisites is the amount of investment. And, and I must say that that level of investment got increased with this revision that we just recently uh, had. So of course. before, if you have an amount of 10 million naira invested into that business, you, you're Qualify. eligible. But now that's been raised 10 times. To what? So 100, to 100, 100 million? million naira for you. So we government is looking for serious it people who will make impact. It went from 10 to 100? Yeah. Correct. If I have 100 million... Okay, so I just said just that that was a good thing, but now I want to take <laughs> it back. I'm reclaiming my compliments. <laughs> but I think what government is saying is that if you put in serious amount of money into the business, that will, into the country, that will make impact, you, you will qualify be to, to yeah. be supported and with a pat on the back. Yeah, but I think that if I wanted to be devil's advocate, which of course I'm not, but I'm just saying that if we had something that supported people putting in 10 million, which many people in the entertainment industries and, for example, e-commerce would have been applicable... Increasing it by twofold, I understand it because of the, but uh, you know, like 10 times means that now also a lot of businesses who should have normally benefited, benefited from would the, also from now this, yeah. still remain excluded. But nevertheless, I think that it's important that we're seeing those kind of strides. At least there's continued thinking and continued discourse. Uh, I think it's left to people uh, like myself and people like Tunji in the entertainment industry to go and, you know, glamour to say, okay, what can we do? Is this working for us? Is this not working, right? Correct. So, but I think one other thing that the government has just recently in introduced that could benefit everybody is the tax amnesty. Okay. So the tax amnesty is called the yeah. Voluntary Asset and Income Declaration Scheme. So what it does is to provide a waiver, forgiveness, for past years of non-compliance. So mm -hmm. you get waived off interest and penalty mm -hmm. for those years of non-compliance. If you come through, if you come forward to say, for this number of years, for the past six years, haven't been compliant. This is, you know, the asset. This and how is long income. is that valid till? She, he, no, it, not, not something. He said interest and, and penalty. penalty. The principal yeah. won't get paid. It, the yeah, principal will the principal. get paid. Yeah. Sure. Uh -huh. But that's okay. But how but long that's, but that? that? But that's almost 30%. So okay. interest in a number of states and for a number of taxes could, could get charged at about 21%. Yeah, I think yeah. that's fair 10 enough. 10% penalty. Yeah. So that's 29% weight. So basically, in, in normal English, it means like if you haven't been paying your tax as of right now, you can quickly go and say Declare. to the government, hey, Absolutely. I haven't paid. I don't have to pay any interest. Nobody has to. And that's, that's not just go all. and see no more. So absolutely. So interest and penalty get waived. You get exemption from being tax audited or from being investigated or from being prosecuted because you know it's a criminal offense so for you to hide your right. income. So right. it's an amnesty to say, look, your pass is forgiven. So come through, reconcile, and, when, how, and regularize. How, what day does that expire? It expires by end of March. So it's open for nine months, starting from 1st of July. Okay. And by 31st of March, bearing any other extension, the window will be shut. And how do people find out about that? Reach out to your consultant. Reach out to the state tax authorities. Ask. Google. Just walk, Google. walk, walk into ask the Lord. Walk into an LIRS office. Nice plug. Walk, walk into an FIRS office and ask. Uh, my guy, although, my guy, although, although, do Tunji, ain't nobody waking up in the morning just bouncing up to LIRS yeah. and FIRS. I think Google is probably like a nice place, a soft place to start. I, I, I actually Google. told somebody. Do you told go me there to a, say hello to them? Yeah, I do. I do, but it's always not a very Moving on, thank you very much, Yomi, for being with us on the show. It's been a fantastic time talking to you about tax and taxation. So, guys, do let us know what you think. Uh, do you pay taxes at all? If you do pay taxes, what will make it easier for you to pay um, better? And um, if you don't pay at all, 
what needs to happen for you to start paying taxes because you should pay your taxes or like honey just eliminate i the love guys paying that taxes that don't even come for me on this topic <laughs> i'm like i'm tax woman over here all right so do comment uh you know the handle is uh, at indani tv the hashtag is analyze this and basically you can follow honey if you want to follow me uh if you want to chat to me further about this exciting topic you can reach me at honey Ogundei on twitter instagram youtube facebook and snapchat and uh, tunji basically everywhere on social media twitter facebook instagram everywhere at tunji andrews and also our guest yomi yeah thank you so much for having me my handle is also at yomi Lugbero on all of the media till next time see you